Hi YouTube, it's Jason Edward here. Today, I wanna to share with you a new mind map plugin that I discovered and I found it to be extremely helpful. So let me just quickly show you how this works. You can see on the right over here, this is a mind map that's created automatically just from the document on the left. And it's a really cool plugin because it, it basically just lists out your most important bullets that are within each of your notes. Like I can show you another example over here. You see, we've got three different headlines, uh, sub item one. So if I just removed one of these, you would see it's going to automatically update now to just one headline. And then, yeah, just by adding this, it automatically creates it just using the headline and bullet points. So even if I did stuff around it, like let's say, for example, just said this is a test, it's not going to, it's not actually going to show that part. It'll only show the part with the bullet points. So yeah, just wanted to share this plugin with you. If you want to install this for yourself, it's very simple. You just go to community plugins, you go to browse and then type in uh, mind map. So mind map. And then, uh, so this is basically the plugin, make sure that it's enabled. And then what I do from here is I, I basically just, I'll close it. And when I want to use that, I open up the command tab, I type in mind map and then hit enter and there you go. So yeah, it's a really nice small plugin and it can be helpful, especially when you're studying in a file with a lot of different, a lot of different bullets and things that you want to keep track of. So with that being said, that's it for this video. By the way, if you want to find out how you can get this type of colors and stuff set up inside of your Obsidian Vault, I've created a video on this. And this is also something that I give you inside of my sample vault that you can find on my Patreon. So what I've created is an entire blueprint of like different Obsidian tricks, uh, CSS hacks, like using these bullets. And uh, yeah, I'm constantly adding to this. And also you can let me know if you have any ideas for, for future videos you want me to make. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.